Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Site Browsers. In today's video, we will be dealing with the Stano Accounting in Odell Samson Accounting Module. So Stano Accounting is a practice or a method that is used to reverse the accounting entries using a negative number. So we are humans and we do make mistakes while entering the entries into our accounting software, which is quite organic. So instead of deleting these entries, we can just use a negative uh, symbol. Uh, for the credits or debit that we are entering into our software. So this can be easily identified by a negative uh, symbol or a red color in our reporting. And this also gives a clear audit of the original entry and the reversed entry. So let's see, how can we manage the Stoner accounting in Odo Sante? To manage with the Stoner accounting, First, you just need to enable this feature from the configuration settings of accounting module. So let's see the functionality. To manage with the Stano accounting, we have to enable this feature from the configuration settings of accounting module. And this is a practice or method that is used to reverse the journal entries by putting a negative uh, sign for the reversed journal entries. So here, let me create um, a customer invoice where you can just move on to the customer tab and you can just use the invoices. So here I'm going to just create uh, invoices by just filling out the details of the customer and product details. So here uh, we can just search for a customer and uh, let me give my um, customer as Joe's and here you can see that we can just add the product. So I'm going to add the product as a uh, uh, storage box. And here you can see that the price is now updated and uh, let me confirm this uh, invoice. So as I just confirmed this invoice, I just came to know that the price has just changed into 20. Now here you can see that uh, the price uh, is just 15.80. So there is um, the, I mean, we have just entered the incorrect unit price of the product. So we just need to reverse this entry. So uh, you can just click on create a uh, credit note and uh, here you can just provide the reason on the credit note. So uh, we can just provide it as incorrect unit price and later on um, you can find the journal uh, which is customer invoices as we are just performing with the invoices uh, the entries will be marked under the journal customer invoices and you can also find the date uh, on which uh, day we have just re reversed this entry. So we can either reverse this entry or uh, we can just reverse and create a new invoice. So let me first just reverse the uh, entry. So if I just reverse this entry, you can see that we have reversed uh, this, uh, but we haven't, uh, um, yeah, uh, posted uh, or uh, changed the, um, yeah, value of the unit price. So as you just move on to the accounting here under the journals, you would be able to find uh, the entries. So let me move on to the journal entries and here you can see that um, as we haven't posted this, uh, you have to just uh, remove the filter over here and here we know our customer is Joe's and you can find uh, uh, the posted entry. So currently we haven't posted the reversed entry. Now we just need to pause the reversed entry. So as we just made a reversal for our entry, you can see it is uh, indicated in a negative number. And now currently it is in its trap state and you can just confirm this. So let me confirm and you can see currently it has moved to the pay state and later on as you just move on to the reporting. Uh, here we have general ledger. So you can also find this under the general ledger and uh, we can just filter this based on the customer invoices. And we know that by using the Stoner accounting this also gives a, a reversed entry in a red indication so we can also find it over here so uh, you can see currently we have just filtered on the basis of uh, journals and uh, uh, here you can just uh, search for the entries that we have made and as we have just enabled the uh, Stoner accounting here you can see that under the reporting it will be uh, indicated in negative number and uh, a red color and that would help you to know the reversed journal entries easily. Now let's uh, create another journal entry uh, by um, creating the invoice invoice directly from there while reversing itself. So uh, we can just create a new invoice over here where you can just fill out the details of the customer and all. So let me 
uh, choose my customer as uh, uh, Mary uh, Justine and uh, you can also set the product over here so let me search for the product as pedal pin and uh, you can see uh, let's confirm this invoice later on we came to realize that we haven't uh, uh, provided the correct unit price over here so we can just reverse this entry so there is a mismatch in the unit price over that we have just updated in the invoice line so um, actually this uh, product price has just decreased and uh, just turned into 40 so here we just need to update the price so we can just provide the um, reason displayed on the credit note as update um, unit price and uh, we just need to um, reverse this and while reversing itself we just need to create the invoice so let me click on reverse and uh, create the invoice so here you can see that we can just confirm and create the invoice directly from there itself or uh, we can just edit from here and as you just move on to the accounting here you would be able to find uh, the uh, journal entries uh, of the reversed one here you can see we have just reversed the entry and uh, we can also find uh, the uh, what uh, created invoice also so if you want to just create the um, entry over there you can also uh, do that so here you can see the draft uh, invoice and you can just update the price and set it into 40 now let me uh, save this and confirm and uh, you can see uh, the updated price under the journal entry so let's move on to the journal entries and find the posted uh, price everything over here now let's make a filtration based on the invoices so currently you can see you can just filter based on the journals and uh, uh, let me remove the posted one and later on you can find everything over here so as you just uh, move on to here you would be able to find our uh, um, reversed entry is also over here which is uh, set to 40 and before we know uh, we have just created an invoice for the uh, price 47 for the customer Mary Agustin and we have reversed it and uh, the reversed and updated price is also shown over here so which is cool to identify the reversed price and you can also find the reasons that we have just given uh, to be displayed um, while reversing the entries now let's move on to the reporting and in the reporting under the journal entries we can just filter it based on the invoice and uh, you can find everything over here so as you just move on uh, to the um, reporting section you can see the reversed entry over here is updated and the updated price also is shown over here now let's move on to the configuration settings and let's remove uh, the sterno accounting and see the difference what happens when we just reverse the entry so without the um, enablement of uh, sterno accounting also you can just reverse the entry but there is a difference uh, in the identification of the reversed entry uh, without enabling uh, the the sterno accounting so if you just enable this feature you can easily identify the uh, reversed entry uh, so we have just uh, saved the changes in the configuration settings and uh, now you can also uh, just confirm uh, confirm the changes that you have made. Later on, let's move on to the vendors and let's choose the bills and let's create a new bill. For that, you can just click on the new button where you can choose the details of the vendor and it is mandatory to set um, the bill date. So we can set the bill date where we can also fill out the details of the product and all so let's choose a product i'm going to choose a new product from here which is large cabinet where you can find the price of the product as 800 and i don't need to apply any taxes for this later on let me save this and confirm the bill oh we have made a mistake over here and we just need to reverse the entry right now actually the price of the product is 850 but annoyingly we have provided the price of the product as 800 so in order to reverse the entry, we can just go with the credit note. Before that, let's move on to the journal entry. And here you can see that the expenses comes under the debit side and uh, the uh, account payable comes under the credit side. Now let's uh, create uh, the credit note. And here we just need to provide the reason why we are creating the credit note. Here we just need to update uh, the price as 850 okay 
so either we can just reverse this entry or create a reverse i mean we can reverse this entry and create an invoice so i just need to reverse this and create an invoice so let me change the price into 850 and let's save this and uh, confirm the uh, bill so here we haven't provided the bill date so let's say that and confirm the bill date so once we confirm the bill date here, here we have reversed the entries and under the journal item now you can see that uh, the expenses comes under eight i mean uh, the debit side and uh, the account payables uh, comes under under the credit side now let's move on to the accounting and choose the journal entries over here where you can find the uh, journal entries that is the uh, reversal of the entry as well as the um, yeah reversed one also so here you can uh, just choose the reversed entry so let me choose the reversed entry and under the journal items now you can see that after reversing the entry the expenses has moved from its debit side into credit side and uh, uh, the account payable has moved uh, from the credit side to the um, debit side now you can also find this under the reporting and uh, for that you can just move on to the general ledger for audit report and uh, let's filter this based on the winter bills so um, we just need to consider uh, the yeah bill and uh, here you can find everything over here and as we just disable the stone accounting we know that uh, um, the thing is it won't be indicated in red color and uh, it won't be indicated in a negative uh, sign also rather it will be just highlighted over here and you can find the swapping of the debit and credit over here so that's all about dealing with the uh, Stone accounting in Odoo 17 accounting module. So we know Stone accounting help you to easily find the reversal of an entry by the red color as well as with a negative indication. By reversing the entries instead of deleting them, Stone accounting actually reduces the risk of errors with manually deletion of the entries. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the Stoner accounting in Odoo 17 accounting module. So if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyprosis. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.